You can always tell you're in Rotorua because it smells like spots. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> That's not you, eh? Not me, cuz. <laughs> Might be you. Definitely me, I stopped wearing deodorant because in India, like, does it make a difference? It's because it's so hot, it's like 40 degrees. Deodorant's not gonna make a difference if I wear it or not. I'm still gonna be sweating, so. This place is just like a, a one hour walk around these geothermal wonders. It's kind of like what I showed you in Taupo, except it's on a much more epic scale, this. And the place is called Waiotapu. I slept with this guy last night, not literally. Are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> he was sleeping in the bunk below me, actually. And you're from Germany, eh, bro? Exactly, from Germany. Awesome. Uh, but you've stayed in Delhi, no? Exactly. I lived in Delhi for uh, two or two to three months. Yeah. Uh, I worked in a school. Yeah. It was great, actually. I loved huh. it. The food is great. The culture is great. The people are friendly. Huh. So I had the best time of my life, to be honest. So Delhi rocks. And you were saying, which is better, Mumbai or Delhi? What did you tell me as soon as I told you I stay in Delhi? I, I, I like Delhi because <laughs> I'm into history and that sort of stuff. You know, Mumbai, the lifestyle is great, sure, but... Yeah. You know, when it comes to history, culture, the Mughals, architecture and that yeah. stuff. You know, Red Fort and Humayun's tomb. Yeah. And so on. So that was just great. Like, a great experience. Huh. All you Mumbai people, don't thumbs down this. Don't dislike this. No, of course not. Like, <laughs> Mumbai is great anyway. I met there, like, amazing people. I had fun. But as I said, huh. like, Delhi is just a little bit. Just a little bit better. <laughs> huh. Some of my best friends are in Mumbai, actually. Uh-huh. Delhi's got everything. Exactly. And it's yeah. got me. And him. Are you coming back to live in um, India? Yeah, I would love to work there actually for more, like maybe for two or three years. Yeah. Because I noticed that the learning experience in India is great. Every day I just bumped into a new culture, into new huh, people with huh, different experiences huh. and that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's one thing I love about India because it's so different from where we're from. Yeah. We're learning from another great culture. Yeah, right. So you've got the German culture, which is great, and you've got uh -huh. the Indian culture. In. Uh -huh. You get to live between two, which is yeah, definitely. It's, and it's, it's just under, amazing. And it's underestimated from a, from the view of the of an European. Yeah, you know? man. You just arrive, uh -huh. and they say, for example, this culture is like five thousand years. The religion is from three thousand years compared to other religions, other cultures, and so and that yeah, stuff. Man. You know, it's like huge. Uh -huh. so, India is amazing, important. man. This is important. So check uh -huh. out India, guys. Yeah, you want to hang out? You will love us? it. Yeah, sure. This place starts off really small, but it's gonna get epic soon. See what I mean about epic. Breathing these guys in. How do they taste, man? Are they halal? Probably. Definitely. <laughs> 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 Habibi! <laughs> Habibi is lost. Did you hear us calling? You said Habibi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind? No, of course not. <laughs> We're gonna go to Kerosene Creek next where we can actually get in this spoiling water and this oh, hot water and swim. It's, it's the most beautiful swimming hole in New Zealand that I've ever seen. And it's kind of like the one I showed you in Taupo, but it's just more picturesque. This is Kerosene Creek in Rotorua and all this water flowing here, it's all hot. Please, slip! No, go fast. Hey! <laughs> How's the water? Okay, you've got this waterfall here and it comes down into this amazing stream in here. This has got to be like the best water hole ever. Alright, we're going to finish our Rotorua trip off with fish and chips from a fish and chip shop. Every Friday, people go and they eat and they buy fish and chips. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like, the British fish and chips. Deep fried chips and battered to deep fried fish. What's the deal? There's like four of us. Oh, okay. You'll all eat fish, no? I thought just thought of the perfect way of describing this and it's a... It's a New Zealand harbour. Yeah, exactly. It's next to the state highway. It's just like when you're driving to Chandigarh and you're driving through Haryana or anywhere. Okay, so this is traditional New Zealand fish and chips and you guys would have all eaten it before because everybody eats it here. That's all anybody ever eats on a Friday night. Aisha? Yeah. You had fish and chips before? I did. Ah, everyone's done it. Okay, okay, dig in. Alright. And so you bite into it. And it's really fleshy and flavorful. It's really yeah. soft. It's the kiwi version of banana leaf. So and instead of a banana leaf, we have this paper. <laughs> paper. Put, like, <laughs> we put the foot on it and just eat it. It's not quite a banana leaf, is it? Yeah, but kind of. 
It's not as uh, romantic or... Oh, when did banana leaves get romantic? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, that's it. Oh, you've, never sh- you, you've never shared a banana leaf and a curry with your Habibi? <laughs> no, no, ask her. Look, she knows it's happened. So romantic. <laughs> ask Habibi then. <laughs> it's definitely romantic. See, he knows. This is the devil's home, and I guess that means it's hot as hell down there. Nah, can't see anything. There's nothing. Sorry. It should have been red. <laughs>